a second introduction. This one overlapping the first one that I made, because the first one I made is a bit outdated by like five months now. I think I've been in business five months here. Yeah, four or five months. I'm not good tracker of time. Let me check. Let me check. This is... Oh, fuck. Ah. Yeah, about five months-ish. So yeah, five months ago I had an introduction video, and that has reached 93 views. Practically 100 views. Which is pretty darn good for an introduction video, I have to say. I mean, it's one of my most watched videos, I think. Um, so I figured, hey, why not make a second introduction video? So, alright, as you guys know, I put out a lot of Warcraft and Minecraft videos. Not so many Minecraft, but more Warcraft nowadays. Warcraft 3 is an actually old game, 2003. Very few people heard of it, but I enjoy it mainly because of the freedom of the creativity of the editor. You see the kinds of games I play. Those can be made by me. Those are pretty much indie games in today's world. It's hard to make it with several people because you actually have to share the file and one person has to work on it each time. It would make sense if you had like one person doing the animations and the character building and the other person doing coding and stuff. But really, it's a two-man job. It's You can't have a team of 30 people working on one game. Games like UTD, whoever, which is a community game, have several... It's a community game. Meaning, like, a team of about three or four people actually put this together, aka Ent Gaming, E-N-T Gaming, which is number one for Warcraft currently. I use them to host a lot of my games. They offer a free hosting service, which is really nice of them. Um, I'm not advertising or anything. I'm just saying, like... UTD was made by that team of ENT Gaming. I'm not sure how many guys they actually have working there. I don't know them personally. I don't know them at all. Even through business, I don't know them. I just know that UTD is more of a community game, but the editor, I use it myself. I've created games myself. I've created two games. One called Grunt Wars, which was kind of a 1v1 version of Hero Push. Or Footman Wars, kind of where it really had the auto-send feature and like you keep a unit behind. There were four different races I had, but I kind of abandoned that a little bit, because it wasn't that great of an idea, I guess. I mean, yeah, two players this is fine, a lot of people would play it, but I mean, eh. Then I made another one, RPG-style one, called The Doom Days, and I've been working on the one currently. I've had my friend test it, and we kind of played around with it, we dicked around with it. It took us a good 30 minutes to beat the actually, like, the first three levels, which is pretty hard. I have to edit a bit more, though, because your character gets pretty OP very quickly. I mean... That and the weapon costs a lot of money, the second weapon, so I have to fix all that. I do a lot of Warcraft 3 videos. Minecraft, I do a couple. I'm getting a new server soon, so I'll be doing more of that. Um, also, if you have not checked it out, I have done other games. Just random games between Shadow of Mordor all the way to This War of Mine. Things like that. Just random games. I've done so many playthroughs, I can't even remember. I don't even finish my playthroughs. What I do is I kind of do an example of the playthrough. Like, I don't do the whole playthrough unless you guys will say, Hey, do this for us. We want to see it because we don't want to play it ourselves. Like, Shadow of Mordor was a game you really had to experience. Like, this war of mine. Shadow of Mordor was an open world type of game. Open world type of games like Skyrim, you can't really do a playthrough of them because they have so much to them. This war of mine was a random leaper randomly made game like Darkwood was. I wasn't going to continue on those because those are randomly generated games. Things like Minecraft, however, yes, although they're randomly generated in open world, they have a pretty stale line of what you have to do, which is why I play the custom games and stuff that people make, which require a bigger team of people, especially coders. Like my server, I used to have a server, and my friend worked on it for about a month, and it still was not even as good as some of the other servers. It was still pretty good, though. Um, it was very glitchy and buggy, though. But, besides the point, I've been doing so many videos. I've recently reached 30 subscribers. Yay. <laughs> I mean, I'm waiting to hit 100 subscribers, but on a 100 subscribers video, but 30 is still good, I guess. I mean, it's been five months. I've done non-stop gaming videos. I mean, I'm only in high school. If you, haven't watched, if you haven't watched my videos, and I'll put, I'll put it. I'm in high school. I'm not exactly old. I'm not over 18. I just do this for pure fun. If you guys don't like my videos, don't watch them. I like, my, I like to do videos because it's just something I like to do. 
when I play a game, um, it feels a little, like, boring playing it by yourself. You ever get the idea, like, playing a single-player game is a bit boring after a while. So I record videos, and that gives me a sense that I'm playing with somebody. You guys. You guys see the video, however long it takes for you to see the video. Maybe two years in the future, it would be, like, a thousand people viewing this one video, and they'll get what I mean. If they've done videos before, they will know, like, you're not technically playing alone. You're playing with people shouting to you in the future, Don't do that! Don't go down that hallway! There's a monster right there! Or don't run into the open, dark room! You get the idea. Also, another aspect... I haven't done really a horror game. Darkwood is not considered a horror game, really. It's not that I'm scared easily, it's the exact opposite. I don't get scared at all. I played Slender Tubbies. One, two... I didn't play three, because that hasn't even come out yet, really. It's like beta. The first one... I, I have to admit, it got me once or twice, but I didn't, like, scream in terror. I just, like, Whoa. like that. Just a little jump. A little jitter. It's... I don't get scared easily. People think I do, because I choose not to play horror games, because fr I find them pretty boring. They're very monotonous. Get to the goal while avoiding the monsters. That's usually how they go. And the monsters usually have scary things. If not th that, then you have to run through the haunted house, get to the goal while being jump-scared throughout the entire game. I get it, the ideas are always different, they're always universally different, but still. It just seems very monotonous to me. It's going over and over. I'd rather do like a Warcraft 3 video. Warcraft 3 being a custom game maker. Kind of like Gmod, Minecraft, things like that. Even Starcraft 2, I will be doing Let's Plays of Starcraft 2, eventually, when that game kind of develops more. I'm probably going to wait till maybe March when the third expansion comes out or second, whatever you want to call it, the, uh, I already have Wings of Liberty, I already have Heart of the Swarm, I beat the campaign, great campaign, by the way, um, also, the idea of me doing a face cam, I do have a partner, Zampa1327, or Aiden, he does, he did use a face cam on my laptop once, but he never uploaded the videos, that's about it, <laughs> I'm not going to be using face cam, till I hit at least a thousand, maybe two thousand subscribers, because, I want to be able to feel safe with you guys, because, I mean, guys like Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, all those famous YouTubers, they can show their face out in the open. They have so many subscribers, they don't really care or give a shit if there was a stalker. <laughs> the stalker can't really do much to them. You can't really hold a grudge against a YouTuber. Just saying. But, I'm more cautious. I'm not going to do face cams or anything. I don't even have a face cam on my computer. I have one on my laptop, which I did use back in December because I was kind of in another state at the time and I couldn't exactly use my computer. I did like three videos on that, but I had to get a recording system. I did like Minecraft only videos, I think. But on a separate note, just this is introduction. This is my channel. I do the occasional video longs as well, which usually touch on rather touchy subjects where I where in the first one I just kind of did my background screen and the second and third one I had my background screen changed I'm gonna be keeping it like that with the background screen change I don't care if this shit or this shit's showing I always hide this down here because you guys really need to see that so yeah that's about all I can say um I use an Xbox 360 gaming controller I do have another gaming controller but you know, Xbox 361 works fine. Yeah, it's probably one of the better gaming controllers for the PC. I know PlayStation 3 is pretty good, but not many games support PlayStation 3 controller or PlayStation 4 controller. They're more apt to support Xbox 360, as we see in Dying Light, which I do have, by the way, and I do play. I play it more in the off time because I've looked at Dying Light. Like I said again, open world... I get how you would want to see the campaign. The campaign's good and all, but it's not something you want to play a playthrough of. I mean, sure, people like the Rad Brad are doing gameplay of it, because that's what they do. I don't do gameplay. I Like, I don't do full playthroughs of a game. I mean, I would. I just am more the person who does free playthroughs of whatever game. Also, my recording software has been cutting out my intro sequence. So please ignore that when you see that in videos. It's just something stupid. I use Shadowplay provided by NVIDIA because I have an NVIDIA graphics card. It's still in beta or alpha. Not sure which, but it works perfectly fine. It works on most platforms. Uh, 
Minecraft is a bit glitchy. Some games are a bit glitchy when you enter full screen. You actually have to exit full screen, start recording, then re-enter full screen, which is what I do with Minecraft, just so you guys know if you have it. Other things, like... If I'm doing, like, a game I have... Um, hold on. These are all the games I have. One Way Heroics. It has a full screen option, but it's a bit weird and wonky. It's just... Yeah. I am a big fan of rogue-like rogue -like games. Why? Because I like how... I like the ability of upgrading your character for future characters. I just like the idea of upgrading in general. Like, building on your character. Making a choice that will make your character stronger or weaker in the future. I like games like Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim. Skyrim's my all-time favorite game, I'd have to say. Favorite game. Minecraft and Warcraft have to come in, like, tie for second. Well, Warcraft 3 will have to come in second. Minecraft in third. Skyrim's better, by far, because of just the concept of it. I know there have been so many critici criticizations on it about how unrealistic it is with the stats choosing. You can just upgrade any stat any time. I rather prefer that than a static stat system, where you have to choose one path as a bowman, making weapons. I could see where that'd be easier, but after a while it get boring. Whereas in regular Skyrim, after a while you can just change your character around, proceed your character's abilities, and then start new. It's not... I guess you could say it's better that way. People will argue with me on this. I'm almost certain of it. But yeah, that's about all I have to say. Thank you all for watching. If you don't know what optimistical means, it means someone who always looks at the bright side of things. I mean, I don't look always at the bright side of things. Sometimes I joke around and look pessimistically, which means looking at the bad side of things. But in general, I like to look at the good things in life. So that's why I tell you to stay optimistical. Stay open-minded, stay focused on the glass half full. In fact, stay focused on the glass being completely full. Don't even just go half full, go completely full. And, well, yeah, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I don't really give a shit. You can unsubscribe if you want. I've already had seven unsubscribers. <laughs> I've been pretty pissed off about that, because I've only had 37 subscribers. I lost seven for whatever reason. I do put out content, like I said in my bout section, once a week. I put out at least once a week. Because there are some times, like, in a week where I kind of have to do other things, family matters, school, just regular things that I don't have time. But I always try and get on the weekends, because my friend usually comes over the weekends, my friend Zanpa, Aiden, we have, I have never, he uses my laptop, we usually play Warcraft or Minecraft together, or whatever game we play. Like, we played that Alien Swarm game. I think I uploaded that. Have I? I don't think I did. Yeah, we played a bunch of games together. But yeah, we use Steam mostly, which you can kind of see in a glimpse of here, and also down here I use Steam mostly. This here, if you've noticed this before, this is Warcraft 3 Editor. I have Spore as well. Warcraft 3 Editor is a great system. I will do a video on that very soon, just showing you guys what Warcraft 3 Editor is and why it's so good, why it's such a great thing. Because honestly... Warcraft 3 Editor, the StarCraft 2 Editor, is an advanced version of the Warcraft 3 Editor, which is kind of funny. They actually had to expand on the Warcraft 3 Editor to encompass it in the Warcraft and StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 still has bugs in it, too, which is why I'm going to stick with Warcraft 3 for a little while, until that expansion comes out for StarCraft 2, the um, one with the Protoss. Blizzard fans will know what I'm talking about, I just can't remember the name of it. It's the one where the whole Void thing is coming, and everything's starting to die, and shit happens. If you... That's not really a spoiler, because that is the basic idea. They tell you that in, like, the end of the first expansion for it, the Wings of Liberty, not expansion, the game Wings of Liberty. They tell you that at the very end. They're like, oh, by the way, a void is coming to wipe out the world. Good luck! And then the Heart of Swarm takes in Kerrigan. Shit like that happens. Then the void's supposed to happen. I'm assuming that the good Protoss will fight off the bad Protoss. Just saying, good always wins in these types of games. As we saw in Wings of Liberty, this, 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 and the Kerrigan one, uh, Heart of the Swarms. It's not really a spoiler. It's kind of obvious, guys. Come on. I don't need to slap a big spoiler sign right there. It's obvious. There are very few games where evil comes out on top. And if it does, it's usually because you fail to do the right thing. Or you get the bad ending. And you always have to go back, try the good ending. But yeah, I've been droning on too much. I drone on a lot. I tend to talk a lot. 
yeah well thank you so much for watching whoever you are out there just thank you in particular because i'm probably not going to get many views <laughs> If you watched this whole video, congratulations to you. I'll give you a birthday cake. and Not really, because I don't know who you are, and you're probably going to stalk me. But Anyway, thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay optimistical. Adios, everybody.